We are now ready to investigate Ampere's Law. And as we mentioned before, uh, Ampere's Law is limited in use, much like Gauss's Law. It's the dual or uh, the magnetic form of Gauss's Law. So in this picture here, we have this path going around a uh, current carrying wire. And so each of these little segments will pass through the magnetic field. And we can come up with a summation of this where we have the magnetic field parallel to the length times the little, uh, little L's. We're going to sum all those little ones up and that should equal mu naught times the current enclosed. <laughs> now if the line segments are put into a, a nice curve then in this case we would have the integral of B vector dot DL and that's going to be equal to mu naught times I enclosed. Now this DL that's just the line integral and so in this case DL is going to equal the magnitude here is going to equal 2 pi times the radius. So we're going to find that the, the uh, shapes are very limited to pretty much circles uh, when we go to do this because it's just easier to integrate uh, based on that. Uh, but there are some uh, less restrictions. When we talked about Gauss's law, we had Gaussian shells that were spheres, cylinders, that was pretty much it. Here with the definition we could use squares or triangles. So it's a little freer to be able to use for Gauss or for Ampere's law. <laughs>